Hello, in this video I will show you how to get started with the SDL2 library on Windows with GCC 8 and CodeBlocks. I assume that you've already installed GCC 8 and CodeBlocks 17 on your Windows machine. If this is not the case, please check the video description for a link to one of my previous tutorials in which I demo the installation. Now, open a MingGW64 command prompt from the Windows Start menu. We are going to use the Pacman package manager to install the SDL2 library. I will put all the commands I am using in the video description. At this point, the main SDL2 library is installed. Next, we can install some useful libraries that complete the SDL2 fun functionality. We'll start by installing the SDL2 image library that will let you work with images. The next library we are going to install is SDL2 Mixer. This will let you play music and sound effects in your programs. SDL2 TTF is a library that will allow you to load various fonts and render text in an SDL2 window. Finally, we'll install SDL2 Net that will let you use networking in your application. You can use it, for example, if you want to implement an online game using SDL2. Now, I will show you how to compile and run a simple C SDL2 program. First, I will demo how to use the command line for compilation. Later in the video, I will show you how to create a code blocks CSDL2 project and build the same code from an IDE. I will include a link for the simple code I show here in the video description in case you want to try my code on your computer. We'll use the touch command to create an empty file in our MingGW64 home folder. Next, use the Windows Explorer to go in there. Now open the file testsdl2 in a text editor. I will use Notepad++ for this, but you can use any text editor you prefer. I'll paste the code in the C file and show you how to compile it. As mentioned earlier, you can get the source code from the video description. The code creates an SDL2 window initially filled with red. Every time the user presses the C key, a random color is used to fill the window. For compilation, we'll use the GCC compiler and enforce the C11 standard. The important part is how we use the pkgconfig command to insert the required SDL2 library. Please note that we are using backticks to surround the package config part. Now, 
Now we can run the test SDL2 executable. If I press C on my keyboard, the background color changes randomly. Next, I will show you how to achieve the same result using the code block 17 IDE. Some people prefer the command line interface, while others prefer to use dedicated IDEs. Use what makes you more productive. Right-click on the project name and select Build Options. Now, in the linker settings, write the same package config command used for the command line build. This will ensure that code blocks links with the SDL2 library. Next, build and run the project. Like before, I can use the C key to randomly change the background color. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.